Can you pronounce this word for me? Because if you can do it correctly, I'll give you $5. All right. Gastro. Gastro. Enteritis. Enteritis. Gastroenteritis. It's gastroenteritis. Oh, I didn't have to correct anything. Now, let's see if you know what it is. Is it A, runny nose, B, stomach flu, or C, severe heartburn? B, stomach flu. Why do you know all of this? Because I've had it before. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Gastroenteritis is a pain in the stomach. stomach. <laughs> So we virtually all suffer from gastroenteritis. That's when you develop vomiting, nausea, diarrhea, typically caused by a virus, sometimes a bacteria, sometimes it can be caused from food poisoning. And it's gastroenteritis. So stomach and small intestine become inflamed, and that's why you're throwing up and you're having diarrhea. What's the number one thing you need to do when you suffer from it is high Hydration. So if you can't keep any fluids down, that's when you need to come see me in the ER and get IV fluids. But otherwise, if you can focus on rehydrating yourself, you can hopefully make it through that 24 to 48 hours while you have these symptoms. As you start to feel a little bit better, focus on bland foods. Give yourself about 48 hours till you move on to, to more substantial foods. But a good example is bread, banana, rice. And then popsicles are especially good I don't good have gastroenteritis, but can I have this? You absolutely can. But for kids, it's especially important because little small amounts of fluid over time that they can handle will keep them hydrated because these things can get very dangerous.